Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on important sign rules. In the last video we touched on a very important rule that exists when two signs are next to each other with no number between them. The following simple rules are important and we will be using them throughout our schooling. When you have a plus sign followed by another plus sign, they translate into a single plus sign. When you have two minus signs next to each other, they translate to a plus sign. When you have a plus followed by a minus, that translate to a minus sign. And when you have a minus followed by a plus, that translate to a minus sign. So in simple terms, like signs give plus. So the two like signs are the two positive signs, the two plus signs, and the two like signs are the two negative signs. And in each case, they both give a plus. Unlike signs give a minus. A positive and a negative are unlike. A negative and a positive are unlike. They both give minus. Let's have a look at some examples. Here I've drawn a number line and we've shown the numbers in both directions. Remember from our previous work, all the numbers on this side are negative and they keep extending and the numbers on this side are positive and they also keep extending. With the help of the above number line, if needed, simplify each of the following. Number one, so we have a two minus minus 1. We saw here that when you have two minuses that translate to a plus. So that's actually 2 plus 1 and that's 3. So you can do that in your head or if you want to practice doing the number line you look at the first number and you start on the 2 and you move one step to the right. 3 plus plus 2 when you have two signs that are like in other words, they're two plus signs. They translate into a single plus sign. Three plus two equals five. I've put the number line here just for ease of reference. Four plus minus three. When the signs are different, that translate to a minus sign. So four minus three equals one. 5 minus plus 4, exactly the same. The signs are different. They translate to a minus sign. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Example 5, minus 2, minus minus 4, minus plus 3. Those two signs translate to a plus. Those two signs translate to a minus. So minus 2, plus 4, minus 3. I'll just do this one example only on the number line. Because of this number here, we put our marker on minus 2. Then we move four places to the right. One, two, three, four. Then we move three places to the left. One, two, three. And that's why we finish up on negative 1. Example 6. Those two translate to a plus. Those two translate to a minus, and those two translate to a minus. Plus two, minus three, minus four gives us minus five on the number line. And the last example, those two translate to a plus, those two translate to a minus, and those two translate to a minus. So one plus 3, minus 5, minus 2, and the answer is minus 3. So this video has looked at some important rules relating to the plus sign and the negative sign, and we've seen that when the signs are the same and they're next to each other, that translate to a plus sign, when the signs are different and they're next to each other, that translate to a minus sign. And we've seen how to apply that rule by doing some 
specific examples.